Hi, my name is Angel. I'm 21 years old and I'm from New York City and I'm here to find love. Growing up in the city that never sleeps, I feel like it's super hard to find love. It's a very click-based environment, so like everyone has known each other forever, which means everyone has probably already hooked up with each other. So it's really complicated. What am I looking for? I don't know. I'm looking for someone like me. I want someone who's caring, thoughtful, ambitious, loyal, and attentive as I will be. And as far as my type goes, I don't really have one. But I love a good face. <laughs> the more you make me laugh, the better you look, honestly. As a bombshell, I know the Islanders are going to be super nervous and believe me, I'm ready to spice things up. But I don't plan on stepping on anyone's toes because I already have my eye on a single Islander. So hopefully I'll be able to change that. Wish me luck. This week, a hot new bombshell enters the villa. I got a text! Angel, please approach the islander you want to go on a date with and make your way to the beach. Would you like to go on a date with me? <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Have you ever done anything like this? Hmm? Have I? Actually, yeah. <laughs> once in California and once on this cool island that's on the opposite side of the map. Hmm? How was it? Well, California has the Pacific Ocean, which is freezing, at least every time I've been there. And the island I was on was the Atlantic Ocean, so it was nice and warm. Do I need to yell this? I don't know. I, I got a text. <laughs> All right. It says, Angel, open up the box and explore your connection with your date. Ooh. Okay. It looks like we have some cards. Um, yeah, it's a card game. So I guess I'll read them out and we will both answer. Are you nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous too. Yeah. So first question, this is not in the cards. I just want to know, are you happy that I picked you? Yeah. Oh, stop. Stop. Hmm. What made me pick you? Well, I don't know. I'm a girl's girl. I don't, I really don't like stepping on toes and I don't want to have that kind of experience here. And just from watching the show from my hotel, I've seen how you move in here and I'm just really interested in you. I mean, for one, you're attractive and I feel like me and you would get along really well. So... <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was our icebreaker then. Okay, let's get into this game. Whew, my nerves are kind of gone now. I feel comfortable. But first question, what does your work-life balance look like? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, what do you do? Are you in school? Are you just chilling right now? Are you traveling? Are you working? Ah, uh, got you. Got you. All right, I'm supposed to answer too. Um, Work-life balance. I don't really have one. <laughs> I am so used to having long-distance relationships that I've never really had to balance anything. It's more like 
I can work as much as I want without any interruption. And then I have those set times where like, we'll take a trip and I fly out there and they fly here. And, you know, um, it honestly, a a day to day relationship, that's just not something that I'm experienced in. I don't know how, but like, it's always been a a distance kind of thing. I, I think that stems from like earlier relationships where, you know, you get embarrassed and you just don't want to deal with that ever again. So I tend to date people who are far, far away. Um, but just in general, I do a lot. I have a full-time job. I also do voice acting on the side and as well as social media. So it's, it's a very time consuming lines of work. So, um, I don't know, but obviously I am very serious about finding my person and being in love and you know, as long as I like somebody, it's enough for me to prioritize it. So even if I don't have the time, I will make time. (laughs) Is that a good answer? Uh, Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Next question. How do you handle conflict? Oh my gosh. I was going to say the same thing. I, I'm i so big on fixing the problem right then and there because that used to be something that I had a tough time doing. I would say, you know, handling conflict with communication is definitely the best way to handle things because for me, I'm the type of person who needs space. Like, let's say I'm pissed off. It's going to take me a minute to cool down. And it's not even anything to do with the other person it's more like I just have to get my my vibes right again I need to be able to center myself and let that emotion pass before I can deal with it you know I have to process my emotions first and because if I don't you know you you say things that you don't mean and whatnot but I, I don't really have those kinds of problems anymore yeah All right, so next one says, what is something in past relationships that you needed to work on? Hmm. That's really interesting because I would have never guessed that about you. No. I'm so serious. I would have never thought that. Um, I think I already answered this one really with my last question. But I think it's communication. Um, In my last relationship, that was a really big problem. And it wasn't even on me. It was kind of, I want to say it was karma. Because I can admit that, you know, when I was younger, a teenager, it was like, I was not the best communicator. I was kind of over it at that point. Whereas in my last relationship, it was so bad. Like, he could not communicate to save his life it's like any little issue any confrontation would lead to me being ignored for however long that took like sometimes it was a week sometimes it was a couple of days sometimes it was a few hours sometimes it was a month and that's just not healthy because you're just sitting in limbo not knowing what's going on and you're basically going insane so I did not enjoy that one bit and I think now what I was able to learn from that was it's very important to communicate things because as long as you learn things about your partner and you know how that person is and you know how they deal with certain situations, it's a lot easier than having to put them through things that they don't need to go through. Hmm? What do I mean? For example, like I said, when I'm in conflict with somebody I need to take space I need time to cool off that means I don't want to be around you I don't want to talk if I am around you I still don't want to talk that kind of thing like it's almost like stonewalling whereas even though I'm not exactly angry with that person I still need my space and I'm not allowing them in my space to them that can feel like abandonment and 
even though that's not my intention, that might be what it comes off as. And now the other person is going through a bunch of things that they don't need to go through because there's not really, it's not that deep, you know? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, I would never want to be like a toxic partner ever. I'm completely against that. I know what it feels like. I don't want to ever put anybody through that. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm really liking your answer so far. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> okay, so it says, what does your ideal weekend look like? Mmm. Okay. I'm more of a homebody, honestly. But that also goes with the fact that I'm a workaholic. So it's like, if I'm at work all week, I just prefer to be at home on my weekends and resting and just watching different TV shows just binge watching. That's kind of my thing. <laughs> I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything. And on top of that, it is too hot to be outside. So that's just not my vibe. Um, I don't know. I feel like as of late, I have been going out a lot to, you know, family occasions, going away parties, baby showers. It's a lot of events that, you know, require you to be social. And that's not really something that I am. So anytime I've had to go out, it's been very taxing on my social meter, if you will. Yeah, so if we ended up together, I would kind of prefer to just be home and, I don't know, doing things at home, that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, so next one says, what do you like to do outside of work? I kind of answered that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? I would say I'm more introverted. I feel like if I'm in a work setting, I can be very extroverted. Just, I don't know. You pretend a, a lot of workplace environment things you just have to pretend <laughs> yeah oh let's go to a juicy one it says do you have any pet peeves oh my gosh me too uh, I have a long list if I read all of them we would we would be here all day and I know we can't even though I want to but I think my main ones would be people who lie for no reason. Um, just lack of common sense and smacking. People who smack when they eat, it, oh my gosh. It just hits a different kind of nerve. And not the one you want. <laughs> yeah. Hmm says what is the best place that you've traveled to that's a hard one it's a hard one I would say the best place I guess California yeah just because of the scenery I think everything is beautiful, at least on, I believe I was on the East Coast. Of, I could be so wrong. I could be so wrong right now, but um, I was on the coast, so I don't know. I think it's the West. I don't know. I'm just a girl, but I would say the scenery in California was beautiful. I wasn't in LA or anything like that. I was, you know, more south. So I enjoyed myself nonetheless. <laughs> Everything was pretty out there. It just looked so Jurassic Park, if that makes sense. Yeah, I could have, 
I could have totally played it off on Instagram like I was in a whole different country. Yeah, because everything was beautiful, for sure. Places I would want to travel to? Um, I definitely want to go to Greece. I think Greece is so beautiful. I think the architecture and everything is just beautiful. So that's a place that I would really like to go to. Only problem is I hate long plane rides. So I don't know how I would go about doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it says, do you prefer coffee or tea? Really? I'm a very big coffee girl. Like, tea is okay, but I definitely prefer coffee. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this one pairs up with that. It says, are you a morning person or a night owl? I would say I'm both. Yeah. Yeah, because I can stay up until like four o'clock in the morning working and then wake up again at seven. I think just with my work schedule, I'm used to sleep deprivation. <laughs> Yeah, I only get about like three to four hours of sleep every single day. So it's not like I really have a choice. Mm hmm. All right, how about you pick a card next? Yeah. Are you going to shuffle it? <laughs> okay. Um,. You want me to read it? All right. Okay. I'll pick this one. It says, is there anything you're scared of? Ooh, that's a lot. Um, I'm really scared of spiders. I have terrible arachnophobia. And I think my second biggest, ooh, if not first biggest fear, it would probably be settling down with the wrong person I think that's the most terrifying thing you can do because imagine like you have kids with the wrong person and you're like stuck with them that is terrifying yeah for sure number I don't even know what number we're on but <laughs> the next question is what was your most recent embarrassing moment I have a really good one. I do. I don't think you're going to top it. Mm-mm. Okay. So <laughs> this was about like, I don't know, two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. Um, I ended up going out with my friends and it was honestly just supposed to be a redo of her um, going away party because she's leaving soon and this was going to be like our last time to see her because she wouldn't be back for a really long time so we all went out to dinner at this random restaurant I've never been there before but we go there me and my friend are the first people there and you know the waiter is looking at me and he's kind of being flirty and I don't know so <laughs> He brings me my food, he brings me my drinks, everybody else gets seated, they get their food, they get their drinks, and, um, oh, I'm skipping parts, I'm skipping parts. Before the food and the drinks, he's asking everybody their orders. So I ended up ordering, like, a burger, because that's, like, the safest thing to get at a restaurant that you don't really know about, especially with their menu, it wasn't the best. Like, I, I wasn't trying to eat half of the stuff on there, so I just went with a burger. And, like, <laughs> with the burger, you can get a side. I feel so embarrassed. I don't even want to say this. But I told him I wanted fries on the side, you know? And obviously, like, my attention span just goes out the window, and I start looking around. He's talking to other people, and then I hear him say, like, 
what's your sign? That's what I heard. So I turn my head and I'm like, oh, and I say my freaking Zodiac sign. And then everyone starts busting out laughing and he's just like, oh, I'm a Capricorn. And then everybody around the table just goes around saying their sign when really he asked me what my side was. And cause I was just as confused. I was just as confused. I'm like, why are you asking me what my sign is? Aren't you supposed to go make my food, you know? So I think it was a great icebreaker because half of us didn't even know each other. And I think it was just funny all in all. But will I ever show my face at that restaurant again? Probably not. (laughs) No. And I genuinely thought like, oh, he's asking me what my sign is because I literally just said my side. I said a burger with fries. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm sure he said sign and he was just gaslighting me. I don't know. (laughs) Oh gosh. Another text. What does this say? Okay. Angel, your date has come to an end. No! I want to stay here with you. Oh, it says you can choose to couple up with this islander or invite another one for a first date. Oh my gosh, so soon. Um, I've enjoyed this date and I think you're super easy to talk to and I definitely want to continue getting to know you. I think I'm pretty good at reading people and for that reason I will not go on another date but I would love to know if you would want to couple up with me yeah (laughs) okay I guess we're a couple oh my gosh angel you are now couple up with your islander You will be sharing a bed with them tonight, and you may now kiss your girl. (laughs) I've never seen a text like this. You may now kiss each other. Okay. Are you down? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, you're a good kisser. Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the villa. Mm-hmm. I want to see how soft the beds are. <laughs> Come on. 